Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Christine Ford's friend Leland Kaiser drops massive bomb moments before Kavanaugh vote. Three strikes and you're out. Christine Ford has tried to rely on testimony from other people to support her claims of sexual assault against Brett Kavanaugh, but they continue to fall flat. In the latest case of this unraveling, longtime friend Leland Kaiser said for the third time that she never attended any party at which Brett Kavanaugh was present. From the Gateway Pundit The fourth alleged witness in Christine Blasey Ford's story of alleged sexual assault by Judge Brett Kavanaugh denied the allegations in September. Leland Ingham Kaiser says she has no recollection of ever being at a party with Brett Kavanaugh and does not know him. Ms. Kaiser is a lifelong friend of Christine Blasey Ford and was one of her best friends in high school. There are no witnesses WHO have confirmed Christine Blasey Ford's accusations. Not one. Leland Kaiser is working with the Judiciary Committee and has testified for the third time now that she has never been at a party with Brett Kavanaugh. The case against Kavanaugh that the Democrats have attempted here has more holes in it than Swiss cheese. No witnesses can corroborate anything Ford has alleged, and she is considered the most reliable witness against him. Her own story and timeline have major gaps and inconsistencies. Further, Kaiser is a longtime friend of Ford, giving her all the more reason to support her claim. Despite all of this, the Democrats continue with their drumbeat against Kavanaugh claiming that the allegations merit more investigation. Further, Kaiser reports that she felt pressured to change her story, according to the Wall Street Journal. A friend of Christine Blasey Ford told FBI investigators that she felt pressured by Dr. Ford's allies to revisit her initial statement that she knew nothing about an alleged sexual assault by a teenage Brett Kavanaugh, which she later updated to say that she believed but couldn't corroborate Dr. Ford's account, according to people familiar with the matter. Leland Kaiser who Dr. Ford has said was present at the gathering where she was allegedly assaulted in the 1980s, told investigators that Monica McLean, a retired Federal Bureau of Investigation agent and a friend of Dr. Ford's, had urged her to clarify her statement, the people said. The statement to the FBI offers a glimpse into how Dr. Ford's allies were working behind the scenes to lobby old classmates to bolster their versions of the alleged incident, as were Judge Kavanaugh's. Judge Kavanaugh whose Supreme Court nomination will be debated in the Senate Friday, has denied the allegations of sexual misconduct. On Thursday, a day after sending to the White House the report on its investigation into the allegations against Judge Kavanaugh, the FBI sent the White House and Senate an additional package of information that included text messages from Ms. McLean to Ms. Kaiser, according to a person familiar with the matter. Ms. McLean's lawyer, David Lofman, said in a statement, any notion or claim that Ms. McLean pressured Leland Kaiser to alter Ms. Kaiser's account of what she recalled concerning the alleged incident between Dr. Ford and Brett Kavanaugh is absolutely false. Ms. Kaiser's lawyer on September 23 said in a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee that she had no recollection of attending a party with Judge Kavanaugh, whom she said she didn't know. This allegation carries more weight than does Ford's as Kaiser can mention specific details, such as dates and the names of people involved. What's worse? Kaiser directly names Monica McLennan, a retired FBI investigator, as the one who pressured her to clarify her statement, clearly an attempt to coax Ms. Kaiser to support Ford's allegations. At the very least, Ms. Kaiser's statement offers no corroboration of Ford's statement, further proving that Ford and Ford alone is the only witness to this alleged incident. If there were any justice in this situation, Kaiser's allegation, not Ford's, that should merit investigation at the very least. A hit job against a Supreme Court nominee is clearly underway here and Kaiser's statement could serve as evidence of a more sinister plot to harm Kavanaugh's reputation and try to force the Senate to deny him the seat. McLennan has denied this allegation through her lawyer, but as long as the allegation is credible it should merit a response. The charges against Brett Kavanaugh have much less supporting evidence to them yet the vote on his confirmation has been delayed for several weeks on much flimsier evidence. Despite this lack of evidence, the hearings against Kavanaugh continue to drag on despite what is clearly going on behind the scenes against him. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out, but let's hope Dr. Ford or those who pressured Ms. Kaiser won't get a walk on this one. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.